Let's talk about the kinetic energy of a rolling object, like a rolling wheel in this case. And we know that kinetic energy for rotating objects is one half I omega squared, where I is the moment of inertia about the axis of rotation, which I've labeled here with the letter P. So we're looking at the example of rolling as pure rotation. So the wheel is rotating about point P, and Point P is not the object's center of mass. So to find the moment of inertia of the wheel about point P, we're going to have to use the parallel axis theorem. So the moment of inertia about point P is equal to the moment of inertia about the center of mass plus mH squared. And we know that H is the distance from the center of mass to the axis of rotation. So we see that is the radius of the wheel. So H is equal to R. So let's plug in the moment of inertia for I, ICOM plus MR squared, into our equation for kinetic energy. And let's multiply through the parentheses. So we come up with the kinetic energy of the rolling wheel is equal to one-half ICOM omega squared plus one-half MR squared omega squared. Let's recognize r squared omega squared as v squared because we know that v, tangential v, is equal to r omega. So r squared omega squared is v squared. And we see here one half icom omega squared. That is the rotational energy about the center of mass. And one half mvcom squared is the translational kinetic energy of the wheel. So in other words, a rolling wheel, we can think of its kinetic energy as the sum of its purely rotational kinetic energy plus its purely translational kinetic energy.